So I'm at my mom's house here in La Quinta, California, and I really like this courtyard as you walk up to her front door. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an oil painting of it today. But before I get started, I wanted to take you guys inside really quick and show you a couple of pictures that I painted of her backyard when she had a house up in Santa Maria. So even though I'm on location and I'm trying to paint as much from life as I possibly can, I've run into a couple of perspective issues that weren't quite working out the way that I wanted them to. So what I ended up doing is I ended up printing out a picture of exactly what I'm trying to paint. And what the picture does is it just really helps me to get the proportions of everything uh, more correct than I could just by looking from my location here where I'm sitting and trying to get everything to work out. I was just struggling like with the size of the pot and the height of the this little brick pillar right here and just sort of getting everything as proportionally in place as I possibly can. So what this picture is going to do is it's going to help out a lot to make this painting as good as I can possibly get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and screw this piece of cardboard onto the plywood right here next to the canvas. So that way I can paint a lot of the details from life, but I can refer to the picture whenever I need to just for, to get the proportions adjusted and try to make this picture look as good as I possibly can.
So when I brought this painting home at the end of the Thanksgiving holiday, I put it inside this box right here. Now, whenever I do an oil painting that's got some thick paint on it, I never like to try to handle it or frame it too soon because it's just too easy to smudge the paint. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box and I'm going to feel the painting and make sure there's no wet paint on it. And if it feels dry, I'm going to go ahead and frame it.
So the frame's all done. Now, one of the things that I tried to do when I went to go build this frame is to make the frame complement the painting. And one of the things that I noticed very quickly when I started this painting is that the soffit lines and the planter lines all sort of went to a disappearing point somewhere here in the middle of the painting. So when I went to go build the frame, I was thinking about that and one of the first things that I decided to do was to have these corner pieces that accented the soffit lines and the planter lines. And then I decided to add these pieces too because I just thought that rather than have one long piece of wood, it would be nice to break it up into um, several different pieces. So that's one of the advantages of having a finished painting when I go to build the frame is that I can take a minute and look at the painting and think about how to best build the frame that sort of pays tribute to the painting. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck on your next art project. What? You're still here? I figured you'd be long gone by now. So I've got a bit of a confession to make. I actually didn't do this entire project all on my own. I actually had my helper Scott do most of the painting. Hey Scott, come on out for a minute and say goodbye to everybody. And my other helper Scott, he did most of the carpentry. Hey Scott, come on out for a minute and say goodbye. And I actually did most of the camera work, the editing, and handled more of the, like, the production end of things. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching this video all the way till the very end. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Take care now.